What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Alpha Toxin coming at you with another video. Today, we're doing four movements for biceps. That's something that I added into the end of my back day. I always do arms, I do biceps on back day. Uh, right here, I decided to start off with this seated uh, preacher curl machine. Now, normally, I'll do this last, but for some reason today, I decided to go ahead and uh, start off with this movement. But on all these movements, I do four sets, and I keep the weight the same the whole time. When I got here, there was already a 45-pound plate on here, so I just kept that on there and decided that's what I was going to use. Uh, it seemed about right because I was going going high rep on these. I think I was doing about 12 reps on the final set. Um, I did a few more. Usually on my final set, I try to get a few extra ones in just because I know it's the last one, so... Try and get all them reps I can. Put a little bit of body into it. And then my second movement that I did for today was these seated dumbbell curls. Now this uh, chair that I'm on, it's a high back, but it's not uh, full upright. It leans back a little bit. It's got a little bit of lean in it. But it allows my my arms to fully extend all the way down and give you a little bit more what is that give you a little bit more distance take that barbell all the way down bring it all the way back up and then that little bit of a twist at the top a little bit of flex really make them biceps pop right right we get to the top twist it and then squeeze that bicep Now I did uh, four sets of these, 12 reps, drop the weight, see how this sounds. All right, guys, on my third movement, I went with Old Faithful. Did, uh, these are standing barbell curls using the Easy Curl Bar. I always use that Easy Curl Bar because it has those uh, angled grips on there. I can't use that straight bar. push too much pressure on my joints, so I use that Easy Curl Bar. It lets me move, them, uh, move my wrist in a little bit real comfortable. So I think this is only, uh, went light on this one, I think this is only a uh, 50 pound uh, barbell. But I knew I was going to go ahead and rep and it's getting towards the end of my my session. So I think I did 12 sets of these. Four, uh, or, yeah, four sets, 12 reps. And then again on the last one, I might get a few more. Just because I know it's the last one. But normally you should go heavier on these. This is really like a, a mass builder. But I grabbed those 50s, I just stuck with that. But I'm just giving y'all the, the, uh, the raw footage. Just get a couple different angles. And to show you everything from beginning to end, I'll show you every uh, every set and every rep. I think I got one more set after this. See what this sounds like.
right guys this is my fourth and final movement of the routine right here this is cable rope bicep curls I guess what you call them now I set this uh, cable down at the very lowest uh, point down there and I use these ropes just to get a nice uh, pump here at the end just do as many reps as I can I think I started out with 12 and probably using about 25 maybe 30 pound uh, pounds on the plate but just trying to get a lot of reps and take short breaks come back and uh, get my my next set but I do uh, four sets of these minimum 12 reps sitting at about 30 pound plates on there and then just really try to get a good uh, stretch in that bicep again twist at the very top um, when I'm watching this I know I need to be bringing in my wrist out just a little bit more and squeezing those biceps right there I should be twisting out just a little bit at the top of the movement but here at the here in the minute on my third set what I do is I change the the angle of that cable I bring that cable up a little bit and pull the uh, pull the ropes a little bit closer towards my chest hit that biceps from a different angle I think I do uh, three different three different angles first two sets from the bottom and I raise up a little bit then on the final set I raise it up a little bit more but yeah I end up doing uh fishing up with these but those are just uh, for the movements I tend to work in from time to time but uh, tell me what you think guys leave a comment down below and uh, what do you think of this microphone I think it sounds pretty good